Hey guys, welcome to the Triple Threat Challenge. This one's gonna be a really interesting one because it's a little category created by me. And the objective is to beat any percent no wrong warp, any percent warpless, and 100% all in one sitting without resetting once. Which means when you finish any percent no wrong warp, your inventory is filled with P-Wings. It's a new game plus. You do two new game pluses, essentially. And it's really interesting because in Warpless, you need items like hammers and clouds, stars, music boxes, very specific to the category. So those P-Wings can really get in the way, makes it very exciting. And then in 100%, you can just item abuse your way through the whole thing and P-Wing pretty much wherever you want and use all the items. It's, uh, it's actually a really fun time. Leave a comment in the section below. And let me know what you think about this triple threat challenge. Thanks a lot, guys. And enjoy. We'll get through one one, I promise. I can do it with my eyes closed, but essentially you guys are gonna tell me what to do. Yeah, but it's it's different than blindfolded. I'm listening to you guys rather than doing my own thing. We'll see how it goes after the triple threat. We'll see how it goes. We'll give it a try. We'll give it a try. I saw Cosmic kind of trying it. And I thought it was a really fun idea. So I definitely want to give it a try. I mean, let's face it. Do you guys have anything better to do on a Saturday? Yeah, let's face it. Let's go. Very important resting. Very important resting. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good, man. How you doing? Very important resting. <laughs> Yo, hands, what's up, dude? Can I, I just want my P-Wings, man. Can we just get my P-Wings, please? How's your Mario 3 going, Trash? Pretty sure that was Wrangless. So, Air Force without killing the wrenches? No. See, the good thing is, is that I don't need to do that. Some people do. So I'm pretty happy that I don't have to worry about it. All right, come on. We got to get no hands here. We got to get no hands. Always. Who knows? Maybe we'll get three hands. Every time I do triple threat, I haven't gotten no hands yet in this triple threat. Not yet. Yes, my drumming skills definitely translate over to my controller skills. 100%. There we go. There we go. The hand gods have spoken, Jab. And they've decided to take away. Alright, let's 
Let's go. Nice try. Can't avoid it, unfortunately. Khan, what's going on? Yo, ooh. what's up, Mitch? MFP love. That's right, MFP love. Whoa, the triple jump. Yo, there's Weck Weck. Just in time for the start of the triple thread. What up, Weck Weck? It's not overkill for the NES, no. But for me, it's like a really, it's a, it's a costly business investment to get OSSC, all the modding tools and stuff like that, because all it is is just better quality for you guys, not for me. I watch, I still look at my video game on the NES. Helping me get back to the 2K subs on the road again. Well, for Trash Panda setup, I guess I can't say that it's kind of, an overkill because I definitely watch him while I play the drums on my TV downstairs. No volume, of course. So I demand the highest quality. So I guess I guess it's okay, Trash Pit. You are visually stimulating one of your viewers, so I'm happy about that. If it's going to be someone, it's going to be me, right? Where's the thigh cam? I mean hand cam. Uh, I'm getting the autumn overlay switch, the Halloween autumn overlay switch done. All about that uh, viewer stimulation. Boom, Ah, oh, we're so close. Anything uh, fun this weekend, Jab? Yo, Cypress, what's going on? Yo, Weck Weck with the five gift subs. Thank you so much. I know I'm gonna get Halloween overlays and stuff. I'm excited. So now we have to wait for the credits to roll so there'll be New Game Plus for anyone who doesn't know how Triple Threat Challenge works. Yo, Kavanickus with the gift sub. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think that's your first gift sub to the channel. We have a brand new gift subber. Okay, so now we have new game plus. Obviously, we start with the P wing. Because we have to dump some of the P wings, right? The P wings are very important. Finally, able to spread some love. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. All right, here we go. Now, I get an I get two more items, so I have to use another peewee. Yo, Trash Panda with the gift sub. So close to that six zero zero. Thank you very much. Hey, that's still pretty cool, Jim. All right, Warpless. We're gonna use the P wing here. Definitely much faster, right? Well, my NES can change palettes on the fly. So I can, I can change, as you just saw, I can change palettes. Almost 18 months, baby. Uh, 
Uh, I'm using the bright, the bright blue. There you have that. That's the casual. And then that's the original. I'm using the bright, the vibrant. Got a mushroom. Now we don't. Have, now we don't have to worry at all. Yeah, no problem. I don't know if your modified console Dom is going to have that same thing. I think that's just put in because KP loves me. He loves me. He loves me not. He loves me. Game on, minigame's always on. There's never not a minigame. So now... I have to dump more P-Wings now. Yo, JB, what's going on? We have multiple Mitches here. Multiple Mitches. So, because my inventory is full of P-Wings, right? I have to find all the right places to dump them. And... The next level is a really good place. Because this is only warpless. I don't have to get... I only have to get two items in this world. So I'm probably going to use a P-Wing on level 3 because I can hit the P-Switch and do the, the cool exit. Nice. Oh my god. You, you have plates right now that actually say Dr. DP? We're talking. Oh my god. I thought it said Dr. DP, but it's Dr. TP. <laughs> it should actually be Dr. DP, let's face it. <laughs> Dr. Toilet Paper, right? Cryogen, what's going on? 22 months, welcome back! And Nemesis, welcome back for five months with that Twitch Prime. Thank you very much. And Original Rails, thank you so much. Jesus. Ah, Sinar, I miss you guys too. I hope work's going okay. I really do. Hey Mitch, so glad I found your stream in February. Thanks. Provide a nice bit of positivity every day smile. Oh, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Six months, halfway there. Did I actually just get like the best case scenario here? For my situation? I think I did. I've been seeing a lot of a lot of shit talk done on the Super Mario All-Stars 3D. I think mainly because there's nothing special about it. And I think people wanted 
special things. Excuse me. Like, at least whenever they did the Super Mario All-Stars for the Super Nintendo, like, they changed, you know, some designs, made things a little bit crispier, a little different. And the 3D All-Stars didn't. So, I don't know, man. I have to dump this P-Wing, so I have to use it here. Alright. We'll do that. They got rid of Gay Bowser, the so long Gay Bowser. What does Mario say now? I don't even think he says... He doesn't even say Gay Bowser in the game. So long, Gay Bowser. He says bye-bye? Does he say bye-bye Bowser, or...? I don't really care whether that's in or not, so that's that wouldn't really affect me too much. Yeah, I get a lot of people saying, you know, there's nothing special about the Mario 3D, you know, it's not, there's no changes. So, some people hate the controls for Super Mario Sh Sunshine right now. I don't know. I haven't played it yet. I think I get it on Monday. I think I get it on Monday. Mario 64 looks a hell of a lot better, really. I honestly should have just used the P-Wing in this level. Oh, don't get me wrong, I like all three games. I honestly didn't have my hopes up that, that they were really even gonna change all that much, so I'm not surprised at all. I went in willing to just kind of get a combo of all three games, no changes. But I just expected to have the games in a convenient manner, right? Like with the with the triple with the cartridge. You guys can buy a digital version as well, too, can't you? I have tried to speedrun Mario 3 a little bit on the All Stars. Yes, I have. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me, that was perfect! I actually did that, like, amazing. And I got wrecked, dude. It's like the perfect death. You bought both? I, I didn't buy both. No point in buying two copies. Perfect and died all in one. It's pretty much what happened. But luckily, we got Runaway Bro, and he came back. But to be honest, I don't think he can be in my way. So he has to move down now. Like, he, you gotta be kidding me. What got me into speedrunning speed this game? This game is one of the most fun games to speedrun. Oh, 
fucking damn it, dude. And I don't have a- God, man, this drives me nuts, dude! It's so stupid how perfectly it works out to fuck me over, dude. Just die already. God, it's so stupid, these fucking Hammer Brothers. Look, and he's gonna get in my way again. Oh, thank God. Yeah, get the heck out of here. Get out of here! Nobody asked you. Yeah, nice try. I've died before by you. It's so weird, I'm on a different cycle than, like, with the water. Whoa! This is weird. Boom! Yeah, I don't know, I never- I, I didn't really care much about the- For some reason with this All-Star version, I didn't really care much for the digital. And I normally only get digital, I never get hard copies of games, ever. I never get hard copies in the, the All-Stars. I figured, why not? I can now finally play Mario Sunshine and Mario Galaxy. How are me and Chris friends? I gave him a copy of Snow Bro, Sinar. I think that sealed our friendship. I gave him a, a rare NES game that he didn't have. Yeah, I don't know if you guys are thinking that these... Whoops. That these are gonna be like... Hats off to the donuts, guys. Everyone open up and take a bite. There you go. I don't know how it's split again. Oh my god, I did that last time. Wait, no I didn't, I missed it last time. Ah, it's a Krispy Kreme donut. The best. That's the best part about you guys having a bite of my donut. Doesn't cost you anything. Doesn't cost you anything. You don't gain any weight from it. Granted, there's no flavor involved and you don't actually get the pleasure of eating it. But, hey. I know shaped chicken nuggies for lunch today. Nice. Did your mom <laughs> did your mom bake them for you and cut them up and give you a sippy cup too? Yo, I'm actually getting the worst RNG possible here. This is kind of funny. Like I am 100% getting the worst RNG in this game right now with with World Three. Incredible. We're gonna use a P-Wing in the next level, because it's fun. We gotta use items. 
Oh, Vivo, what's going on? It's actually sick how that level worked out. See if I can keep peace speed in this level. Ah. Would you look at that, guys? I actually got some good stuff. On the road again! Yo, Evil Wolf, what's going on? I'm having a pretty good weekend. I hope you guys have a good weekend. So, I'm doing to the Xbox and PlayStation, I'm doing the same thing I'm doing with the new graphics card, the 3000 series. Um, and waiting for people to buy them and use them, and then... If there's any breaks or any problems with the models, I don't have to suffer through that crap. Because they're obviously going to restock. It's not like the world is going to run out of Xbox and PlayStation 5, right? But... If anything's going to bust and break in these consoles, it's going to be right at the beginning of them. We'll see how it goes. Yo, fuck off, dude. I don't even remember letting go down. We in there, baby. Oh, you guys ready? You guys love this little shortcut right here? Check this out. Little shortcut. Ooh, baby. Gotta love that shortcut. That's a nice looking shortcut. A little off topic, but around what time barrier should runners learn new route? What, the music box? Uh, dude, you guys don't have to worry about that at all. Yo, Mighty Mac, what's going on? Welcome back for 21 months! We're on the road again for 2,000 subs. Gotta get that hardcore grind going. Oh, hey, Shortcut. How you doing? Come here often? Good to see you. Good to see you. And yeah, not a lot of people know about that Shortcut. Oh, I wasted a music box cycle. Oh, hey, Shortcut. Looking all cute, cute and sexy. What's the point of doing that fortress? You do the fortress so that when you get game overs and stuff, you can just cross the bridge. Or are you asking me in the sense of a speed run? I 
Ice 279 Twisty Castle is no joke. Uh, the fortress is faster than that level. The fortress is faster than the level 3, so we do the fortress instead. Yeah, 5-3 is really long because you go into a pipe, you come out of a pipe, you go all the way left, then you go down a pipe, right? And then you go down the pipe transition, and then you go all the way back to the right, and then you go through another pipe transition. It's really, really long. Everyone loves, everyone loves the Goomba shoe level. <laughs> wow, what? So the reason I took damage there is because my duck input didn't want to register. And you have to worry about shit like that. The best example is that if you don't do that duck input, in Bowser's Castle, you will die. So your duck, being able to comfortably do duck input is very important. <laughs> the duck input, I love it. It's so cute. Yo, Pixelated, what's going on? Goomba shoe percent. That item was actually pretty hard to find. Yeah, what's going on, Kerbo? I was watching you do runs the other day. Been a long time since that one. Lauren, how you doing today? Give me that cloud. Why would Goomba Shoe end at World 2 Pyramid? Oh my god, you can destroy this game with Game Genie, it's hilarious. 5-3 is the only stage that has the Goomba Shoe in it. You have yet to beat this game? Well, sir, you have a lot of work to do. Before you can impress me, you have a lot of work to do. Now, your only goal in life should be to impress me. What if you do ACE to Goomba Shoe? Good question. That would be like wrong warp Goomba Shoe percent. Triple threat requires bits. That's right, it does. Thank you very much. I very much appreciate that. Let's go. 500 bits, guys. Did 
you know there is a warp whistle in the first fatress? The first fartress has a warp whistle. Yo, what's going on, Tang? How you doing, man? Uh, I don't need anything. How you doing, dude? <gasps> Who did it? Who caused me the death? The first fartress. That's right. Well, we already miss you, Tang. You were supposed to- we were supposed to meet up this time around, but... I guess everything got screwed over. What's a warp whistle? You mean a fart whistle? Ew, those like fart bubbles. Yeah, this game's this game's gross. The Super Mario World's gross with their little fart bubbles and whatever you want to call it. The who's and mawatsies. A series of slight warm wind. Oh god. With a, with a somewhat familiar smell. Alright, guys. Conversation definitely took a dark turn. I wasn't even the one who started it. Oh, that would have been so good. What games am I playing after this? I after this, I am playing Twitch Chat Plays Mario 3. You guys are going to be the ones who actually win in this game. I'm just gonna be doing what you tell me to do. So get your spam ready in about two hours, or an hour and a half. The delay is just gonna make it even more fun. If I end up beating this game with Twitch chat as my eyes, then yes. You guys officially beat the game. Crazy train? Crazy taxi? What is crazy taxi? I don't know, man. That sounds a little weird. Yeah, there's a warpless task. Yep. Well, I play the SNES All-Star version. Ugh, I hate the P-meter sound. I've never played crazy taxi. No. Insanely good. We we won money on like two rivals, which is pretty cool. I mean it's split four ways, but still very fun. And setting up the points tournament kinda all it kinda all set everything up to get back into the groove. It set everything up to get back into the groove for Mario 3, so um I'm still gonna be doing Fall Guys a lot, because I'm still wanna be a competitive Fall Guys player. Like if anything happens with it and season two's coming. And I need to be good for rivals. Um, but we're actually entering like a very big Mario 3 phase for the rest of the year because we have the points tournament coming up. And that's going to take a lot, a lot of time. It's going to take up the entire month of October. Oh, bad subject. Though. I don't want to accidentally go into the door. That would suck. I'm getting really bad subjects this year. Look at that. When I come to a dead stop, 
That means, like, I did it perfectly, but I'm getting bad RNG. So I actually keep getting bad RNG, like it... There you go, more, more bad RNG. More bad RNG. More bad RNG. There we go. Finally got lucky, that's pretty good. There you go. All it took was 50 tries at getting unlucky. That's okay, this is triple this is triple threat challenge. The objective is simply to get through it. No resets allowed. I don't think we're gonna warpless PB though. I could be wrong though, I could be wrong. Have I ever PB'd with no bumps in the overworld? Uh, yeah, probably, for sure. Does the world record even have any overworld bumps? Who cashed the triple threat? Uh, I'm pretty sure it was Wek Wek. What's the most fails I've ever had for 7-1? Probably like a handful and then I just reset. So, I mean, it, it could it could have been more. Off run Blazing John? What's going on? Thank you very much. Five months. Hello and welcome back for five months. The road to 2,000 subs begins. We have a long road ahead of us, but we can make it. We've been there before. Do it again. Most 7-1 attempts is probably somebody, like, timing out, right? That would be my guess. Seven's got the most bullshit. Let's go for it. Might as well. Why am I not surprised? Why am I not surprised that the clips aren't working in this level? Right? Why am I not surprised? And then I just get all four of them in a row. Yeah, four one one one. Right? Like, what is this? What is this madness? What is this madness? Okay, I'm seriously worried about my duck input in Bowser's Castle. I'm nervous. I'm seriously nervous for Bowser's Castle. How hard is that one fortress skip to do? Uh, which fortress? 
where you basically die. Oh, Jesus clip. Sounds. That sounds an awful lot like Jesus clip right there. Yup. Pretty much. If you fail the clip, you did. You did. Yeah, yeah, the Jesus clip is in World 5, yeah. Yo, Psycho Sphinx, what's going on? I like your name. That's a nice name. Yeah, unless you Stewie and then you Jesus clip everywhere and then you wonder why you still have a 5150. <laughs> Frickin' stew. We're choosing not to do these strategies. We already know they all exist. Like, so far in the Mario 3 Discord, there hasn't really been anything that I've seen that's new or not done. Which is interesting because a lot of people are trying a lot of different things, right? Which is good. You want, you want the new generation to do the more harder things, obviously. But there's nothing yet to, there's no new, there's nothing new. Yeah, it's embarrassing when somebody can't even understand the difference between using an example to prove a point and apparently something with a boomer. Like, I don't even get it. And, like, it's not even a funny joke anymore. People don't even call people boomers or any of that shit anymore. It's embarrassing. Ugh. Right? Like, I was using the example of strategies to prove that Mario 3 is a game about compromise, not a game about me being old and using strategies or something. Like, I don't even understand where you got that from. Alright, how many hands, guys? I kind of want to get third hand so that I get the fire flower. Alright, just like in the other run, two hands so far. Well, we've already gotten two. Also, my duck input didn't work, and so I lost my hammer suit. There you have it, guys. Maximum time loss. You're dead, you're dead, you're dead. Yeah, so it's gonna be I'm I'm very excited to see how new runners deal with SMB3 compromise whenever they're doing um In my opinion, they're kind of useless strategies. They're obviously time saves, but we'll see we'll see how the skill gap and then the RNG plays plays off. Like, should you go for these frame saving you know what I mean? Incredible strats, or should you go for the safe strategies and keep hold of that time save? Right, and that's that's the that's the ultimatum that you're you're faced with Mario three most of the time, right? Is that it's so hard to get amazing RNG in the first few worlds that when you get it, should you risk it or should you not risk it? Right, that's and that's. Risk it versus reward, but the reward's not even that big versus time, right? So, it could take you three months before you get perfect RNG in Worlds 1, 2, and 3. It could actually take you three months, so I've been there, right? So, do you want to risk three months of work to save ten frames on a trick that's incredibly difficult, or a trick that's incredibly easy and you're, you're slower by ten frames? Like, what would you do, right? And that's the kind of compromise that you don't learn about until you start running the game. And that's the kind of stuff that I've been talking about with the... Exactly, hell no. No way, dude. You would never risk it, right? Count your blessings and play... Well, I mean, it's not even playing it safe. You can still do top-tier speed strats. You just don't need to do the... The 10-frame... Incredibly difficult strats, right? 
You can spare the 10 frames, I think, for like 15 movements of one in a row. 15 movements of one in a row is like 20 second time save. This is the duck input that really needs to work. If not, dead. Oh, that's the one right there. Oh, we got it. Get wrecked, nerd Bowser. So long, gay. I mean, bye bye, Bowser. Good old Mario 64. Nice. I always enjoy triple threat challenge. It's always nice. Get wrecked, Bowser. Yeah, apparently the Mario 64 3D removed the so long Bowser. You were sad to see that that was taken out. <laughs> we might be getting uh, Mario 64 online in the future. I don't think Nintendo's gonna do anything with SMB3 online. No, I won't be doing the points run before the tournament. No. Uh, I don't know what the triple threat challenge got in terms of the hands. So, oh, so far right now, yeah, three, I'm five out of six hands right now, yep. For any percent, no wrong warp and warpless in this run, yeah. Yep, I've gotten five out of six hands. User. Oh shit. Oh, we can always go back. Let's go. Go th through the mushroom. Wee! Through the little mushroom hut. Gotta love me some mushroom hut. I'm definitely gonna have to take it slow because the, the delay is gonna be really interesting. Go for white mushroom mess. Nope. No time. There's no time. I have to use another P-Wing, too. Well, I mean, I don't have to, but I get one back anyway, so it's like, uh, like, I don't even waste it, really. Mm. Are we doing warps? Uh, you guys will do whatever you want to do. Oh, come on. I definitely ran on that. Oh, I tried! See how I tried to turn back to get the bounce off of him? But that's okay. You guys have already used the P-Wing. I don't have to worry about it anymore. Hey, 
Yeah, I just needed to use a P-Wing, that's all. That was the World 1 version of Jesus Clip, in case you guys were wondering. Nice, still get the flower, we're good. Why did I have to use a P-Wing? Uh, because my inventory's full of them, right? So, if I don't use P-Wings in the worlds, then I won't keep the items that I get in the worlds. And... I need items like, uh, stars and probably music boxes here and there and stuff. All subcategories, like the the alternate categories? I don't think so. Get, get that trash out of here. Okay, so a great example here is that if I don't do proper inventory check here, I can actually soft lock out of 100% because of my inventory being full, right? Which is kind of an interesting thing. If I get the hammer in this world with the full inventory, then the hammer will, re it will replace the last item, right? But if I get the music box after the hammer, then the music box will replace the hammer. Which means I no longer have a hammer, which means I can't break the, the, the rock. Uh, I'm pretty sure you just have to synchronize as a sub. Thank you very much for the five subs, dude. I really appreciate that. Nice. Let's go, baby. Five gift subs. Give some sub love hype. Give some gift love hype. Give the hype hype light. So I should be able to get this, I think. Wait, I have an extra star. Okay, so I can use a star on that guy. All right, yeah, I'll use a star on this hammer, brother. That way I can guarantee get it. Forty-four, baby. You're gonna make me go here, aren't you, you little shit? You little shit. All right, he's gonna go up past the pyramid, be a little jerk about it. I already know he is. I already know he is. Yo, Val, what's up? Thank you. 
Oh, I split some fuck one. Yeah, when you do New Game Plus, they fill your entire inventory with uh, P-Wings. So I didn't get the star from the last world, so I can't actually use the star here. I would use the star, but I had lost my star. the hammer so if if I don't use an item here then I won't I know the cloud will replace the, the warp whistle that's good okay do that. cloud will replace the warp whistle oh the fire bros Fire Bros are pretty pog. Oh, no you don't, bud. Who knows what pattern this guy's gonna do. Oh, that was it, too. Things don't go exactly the way you want in this world, like I have no man, it's so hard. September needs to hurry up and end so we can watch the tourney. That's right. We only have Ooh, we only have a short while. I forgot I should use the P-Wing here. Uh, where will I use a P-Wing? Wait, no, item will replace the cloud. I don't need hammer. I do need some stars, though. I do need some stars here. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Always need stars for 100%. Stars are really important in the 100% category. Creatures. Okay, so I can replace a cloud. That's good. get this hammer, it'll replace a cloud, and then I'll use a P-Wing, and then I should be able to get the star. And then my inventory will be full again, though. Inventory will be full again. So it's after world two, you don't need hammers, you don't need clouds, uh, you don't need music boxes. You don't really need much of anything else.
Uh, normally it would, but I have a billion P-Wings, so I actually don't have to worry about that. Yeah, I have like a gazillion P-Wings, so I don't... Even if I lose my tail in 100% in 7-4, I can just reuse it, re uh, grab another one. It actually kind of works out really nicely. I'm not actually gonna go for it. It's, you do not need to risk it. Weep. You lost 12 pounds during Sober September? I didn't know so Sober September was the thing. That's pretty good though, man, congratulations. That is a large amount of weight. Gone from, I assume, not drinking, you know, whatever beer or alcohol. That's good, man. Yeah, no more Dr. Trash Panda, Dr. Sober. Why wasn't my eight input registering? What the heck is wrong with you? I was fucking swimming, man. What the heck? I would never not press A there. Check out the new Ryan DiPaolo vid. I don't even know who that is. What are we talking about here? Oh, I got it. Nice. Look at that. Yeah, what are we talking about here? Okay, don't die this time, Mitch. Please. Cool. Oh, po I don't follow poker. Yeah, I don't know who that is. That's pretty cool that he won. WSOP bracket. I don't know what that is, but I'm sure winning a in a poker tournament is amazing. What are the requirements of 100%? All completable levels and stages and stuff. So Hammer Brother Battles, Piranha Plant Stages, Hand Levels, all the levels in the game, all the worlds. Mushroom Houses and Spade Games are not levels. Also, you can't get all the Mushroom Houses in one playthrough, so we just include that. Hate it up, baby. Nope, I haven't gone back to it yet. We're still at the same spot. Yeah, we're still- we are still in the same spot for that game. We'll probably be playing it later. Yo, Nacho Fizz! Going pretty good. Thank you very much, thank you very much, I really appreciate it. So world four, you need a hammer here to get this mushroom house, and that's the one that you miss. Because world two, you use a hammer, right? Use a hammer to get the mushroom house behind the rock with the uh, hammer brother, right? And then in world three, you use that hammer to get the boat and get all those mushroom houses. And then you have no hammers left, and then you get right here, and there's a mushroom house right there behind a rock. So they, they I don't know, man. They kind of messed that one up, I guess. There's nowhere for me to get another hammer. Whoops. Okay. He's okay. 
Unless there's a, well, there's nothing left hidden in this game that we don't know about yet. There's nothing. So. Yeah, yeah this. Yeah. Fucking E Rock. If I could get 10 seconds of P Speed IRL, where would you go? It wouldn't get me that far, but what I would use it for is to get a new world record in the 100 meter dash. Right? Like, what is the world record right now for 100 meter dash? I'm assuming P-Speed would be like superhuman, you know. Nine seventy three? Yeah, dude, I'd get like a five something with, with P speed. Yeah, easy guys. We're doing absolutely fantastic on P-Wing, uh, utilization here. Nice, man! IRL P-Speed, I get an- I get another, you know, I get a gold medal. I'd run 100 meter in... Five seconds, and then I'd run it in nine seconds. I'd get two records in one day. One in five seconds, then I'll do it again in four seconds. And then I have one second left over for maximum. Oh, I thought I'd keep it at least. This is another P wing, right? Definitely don't need this item. Oh no, this one's the star. Okay. Uh, it depends on what it is, Tom. I was worried if I kept peace. If I could get 10 seconds of P-Flight, where would I go? Again, I wouldn't go anywhere. Flying in the air for 10 seconds is not gonna get me anywhere. I won't make it far and then I'll probably die from falling. Unless I could flutter down. If I could flutter down to safety, then... Then I think it'd be okay. I could have a barbecue, yeah, I could cook you up some meat. Melt a bunch of icebergs, that'll be good, right? You think Zone's gonna win the SMB3 tournament? He might. I hope he's practicing. You'd go fight Bowser if you had it? I 
I can activate it at any time. Again, there's still nothing to use with it, right? Sure, why not? That's actually okay, because I can use the P-Wing in the next level. It's actually fine. Nope, no death for swag. But we can do a super awesome shortcut that nobody ever gets to see. The swag cut, yeah. Is that really all that having Fire Flower for 10 seconds would be good for? Showing it off to try and make as much money as I can? That's it. That's all it'd be good for. That's all it'd be good for. supposed to be where I get my fire flower back. But that's okay. <gasps> Ooh, I almost died right there. Yeah, you can't, yeah, you can't get all the mushroom messes one playthrough. If you could get all the mushroom messes one playthrough, I can almost guarantee that's exactly how the 100% would go. Hundred percent would definitely include duplication not that I am aware of like you can duplicate items but it's not anything that's gonna help you Whee! yeah it's some weird trick and you have to do it in world 5 Does 100% require Hammer Bros and hands? Yep, yes it does. But went back to the 100% task for Mini Kaizo. That would have been nice to see that whole game played through. But he ditched it when he re like he didn't know how the game worked and he didn't realize he needed coins to have power in Bowser's Castle. So he tasked the game before he understood it. So he kind of got screwed over there. Apparently, pressing B isn't pressing B. Apparently, pressing B isn't pressing B. I actually almost died there. Take that right in your face, bud. His mouth, he was like, no! No! 
No, you didn't get the package yet. You gotta wait. You gotta wait for stuff. Must be patient, young one. Alright, guys. Jesus clip. Just for you guys. If we get it. Nice. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Jesus Clip is angry today! We didn't do- we- we- <laughs> We haven't done enough peace speed strategies. I can't try it again because I don't have a big power up. I can't do the clip with a P-Wing and I can't do the clip as small Mario, so I'd have to get a power up. I can't second- I can't do two tries. I need to be big Mario. Yeah, I need to be big Mario. Or else I'd go- I would've gone for it again, but... I don't have any items. Yeah, but I have P-Wings, right? So I can't- I still can't even do it. Yeah. You can do it with the tail, 100%. Yo, Piano, what's going on? Always with the Mushroom Houses with you guys. Always with the Mushroom House. Glad to finally have a sub here. Right on, man. Well, thank you, and good to have you. Good to have you. All right, the worst crowd control level ever. Master Blade, well, thank you very much. What's going on, Joe? How you doing, man? We're out. Move on to World 6, baby. It's a lot to keep track of at first, but then you realize there's no way you're getting all those points, so you have to, like, pick your battles, right? Uh, my jump didn't register? On the road again. Nice. Who did you race, Mars? Am I going back to Rivals next week? Yeah, I'm going to Rivals. Right? Are they doing uh, Fall Guys NA next week? Next Friday, right? I wanted to land on that. Oh! Okay, I didn't die there. At least I didn't die right there. Same team? Uh, yeah, we'll be the same team. Yep. <laughs> Speakers in two thousand and twenty. Dude, I hate PC speakers, man. They just take they just take up so much room and so many cords and crap. They drive me nuts. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep. Oh, bull crap, dude. Oh, why did I not get that? That's okay. Can I beat this game blindfolded? Uh, I don't know. We're gonna see how well Twitch chat can help me. scared there. That was scary, all right? That was very scary. Uh, I have done streams of me trying.
In two years, that's the first time you see me die there? Yeah, it's bound to happen when I'm dicking around, yeah. Always dicking. Alright. If I've gotten blind, I can get to world eight. We'll see how you guys treat me though today. We'll see if you guys treat me with kindness or not. you get your daily dose of dicking around always in video games you always got to dick around in video games also what's going on Devin how you doing today any plans of returning to Fall Guys what do you mean like today like am I playing Fall Guys today I mean that was a good unoptimized Being busy is good, man. That's good. That grind, right? The life grind. Boom. Uh, I will not be playing Fall Guys on stream today, no. It is, it is hard to do. And it's scary because you mess it up. It's big time loss. But do you know what I would do if I were you guys? I would probably cloud that level. If you cloud that level, not only do you not have to worry about it. I mean, you can cloud that level or the other level, but not only would you not have to worry about it, but you would also save a P wave. Which means you can music box Hammer Brothers in World 5. All you'd have to do in place of that level would just be 5-9 uh, auto scroller. It's only 50 seconds. I mean, you're getting a time loss, but messing up 6-5 and using a P-Wing, that's a pretty big time loss. Yeah, so not everyone has to take the perfect world record strategies uh, for races and tournaments because your objective is to get as many points as you can, and at least try and finish under an hour. If you don't finish under an hour, but you get a lot of points, you're still in a pretty good spot. You still got a lot of points. You lose a point, though, for not getting under an hour. But you know what I mean? If strats are too scary or too hard, think of uh, alternative ways around it, right? See what, uh, see what other things we can do. We got the H jump. H, H, H. Dude, the constant five bits from Exo Stern. Thank you so much, dude. All the cheer cheers. That is because my duck input didn't work because it's a piece of shit, obviously. Work there. Not on the basic one. Hey, I remembered. Let's go. You guys just started a six week long reset project. What's that? What's a six week long, like you're resetting, like changing how things are gonna be or something? Aww. Then I tried to go for the clip. Aww. Yeah. 
Bam! got 20 minutes left. I don't know, man. I don't think so. Will I be doing any more Bean Bros 3 runs soon? I love watching you murder those levels, says Bean Guy. I don't know if I'm gonna even speedrun Orb Bros, uh, guys, because... Orb Bros is, uh, how many shell jumps can I do in a row is basically my time saves versus my time losses. And that's, the, I don't... <laughs> I don't care to have, you know? Like, I don't know. It's hard to explain, man. One, one bad RNG. There we go. Much better. At least I didn't go inside the level. Yeah, almost all my mistakes in Orb Bros is shell jumps, right? Shell jump was so too. Well, not really. It's just they are unique shell jumps for Mario 3. But I all the shell jumps I've done, I've done in all of the Mario Makers many, 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 many times. So to base a speedrun around having to do that many shell jumps to me is uh I was super hyped to speedrun Orb Bros. Like I was so into it, and then I noticed. After, after a bunch of runs, I was like, wait a minute. My time losses versus my time save is just gonna be so... In order to get a deathless run, I have to get perfect shell jumps. Ooh, almost missed it. It was close. Orb Bros is still one of the best Mario 3 ROM hacks ever made. That will never change. He's running out of change in the couch, that's great.
We're actually going through the P-Wings, guys. We're actually going through them. No, there's still more. There's still more hiding. Minus one point. Minus one point. then all right i don't even know what's going on all right we have to let's try and get come on hammer suit there's a hammer suit in this mushroom house we got to get lucky though we got to get lucky guys always frog suit how many tries do you think this would take nope i'm dying we're doing 7-7. Seven, seven. I don't care what you guys say. Oh, we're doing it already. Been a hot second since I sub smile. Alright, alright, let's go. Yo, baby. Yo, chesty bump. Chesty bump with the six months. Welcome back with that prime. Thank you very much, dude. Oh, wait. We want to do this. First. Why? Who knows? Yeah, I have 3D All-Stars. It's not here yet, though, but I got it. Oh, that was so good. Jumping too low. There we go. Was jumping a tad too low. Alright, now I get to have the laziest airship ever. I got work to do. Oh. No time. No time to get it done. I don't want to say that this is a free off screen one grab, but off screen one grabs are pretty. Oh, I see. They're pretty free with P Wings, but you can still mess them up. Entering the last world, baby. Entering the last world. Thank you for all the bits, man. How many are you up to by now? Jesus. Almost 10 bucks worth of bits. Let's go. All right. 
to make sure I was safe there. Dude, I smashed right into him. At least with this, I can get the power up. Let's just hope I don't die. I'll mash with you, right here. All right. How many hand stages is the question? How many hand stages is the question? All right, well, so far we've gotten pulled in by hand one on all three runs. Pretty good, pretty good. So out of nine hands right now, I'm at six. Triple threat was 500,000 channel points. That is correct. All right, out of nine hands, I've pulled in by seven. Alright, out of nine hands in three runs, I got pulled in by eight of them. Eight out of nine hands in the triple threat challenge. Amazing. Well, I'll get rid of all that bad luck now, I guess, right? As it should be. Yep, carry on game. No, getting pulled in is slower. Yeah, you want to enter the stage like a normal level. You want to enter like a normal frig. Oh, it would have been a beauty. Dude, it would have been a beauty. The gods would have came down from the heavens. They would have came down and awarded me a gold crown. Okay, a gold crown for getting too unlucky. This is Mario 3. There's no such thing as too unlucky. It's just unlucky, not unlucky, and then lucky. Those are the three forms of RNG in Mario 3. Unlucky, not unlucky, and lucky. Not unlucky is very different from lucky as well. Oh, there's some big differences there. MFP bad MFP RNG. That's right. That's right. Yo, thanks so much. Oh my god, welcome back for two months, dude, with that Twitch Prime, baby. Twitch Prime spree on that road to 12, or, no, 12,000. The road to 2,000 subs again. Oh, I hit my face, man. I hit my face right on the spikes there. Luckily, I didn't take damage. All right, are you guys getting ready to guide me through this game? Are you guys getting ready to guide me through this game? It's gonna be really hard. All right, okay, so not the best triple threat, but I like triple threat a lot. I like using a lot of the different the Bowser Castle GM. Yo, we're in the Bowser's Castle, Bowser's Keep. Do you guys like Bowser's Castle or Bowser's Keep better? What do you guys like better?
All right, third Bowser's going down. And he's done. Mash B, Mitch. I like key Bowser. Get wrecked, Bowser. Get wrecked, Bowser. Hold on a sec, I gotta go to the bathroom.